Johnny Pink. I am out today with my Canon R7 and the 500mm f4 with VR and what makes this really cool is now I'm shooting at 700mm and that is itself pretty cool. I wanted a comparison for hummingbirds with this between this and the D5, uh, my, my D800. I never checked this against the Z9, so I'm going to have to do that too. For that, I'll probably go to Kenneth Hahn. Although, this is a prime lens, and the one I'll be shooting with, well, I guess I could shoot with the 500 f4 at Kenneth Hahn, but I'm really enjoying the Nikon 200 to 500. Sorry, I'm looking around. This is normally where I just kind of sit and be still and wait for the hummingbirds. It's better when they're that way because I have trees behind me and it's a nice, it makes a beautiful multicolored background. I like that. I'm not crazy about it being so clean and, and uncluttered. I prefer a cluttered background, but with bird photography, you're really kind of limited to where they perch. One keeps landing up in the tree up there and then it flies away and it perches in the shadows. So all I've got are shadow shots. And on those, I'm keeping my ISO today at 250, just like I have been on all the other ones. That way, it, I'm shooting at f4 on this. It allows me to really increase my shutter speed to freeze that action. Even a little bit of motion with a bird, the faster your action, the better chance you have of getting sharp shots. Well, now it's just a patient waiting game, and I didn't bring anything to sit on again today. So I think... What I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up the camera, and this one is really heavy to continue to hold it like that. It's a beast. I think he's back on that tree over there, so I'm going to take this off the tripod, and I'm going to walk over that way. And uh, <laughs> Let's shoot something. There's tons of rose bushes here, thorns. My legs are all cut up walking through this stuff, just looking, trying to get a good shot. There's been a hummingbird that's been perched on this, not there right now, but perched up on the tree. And then it'll come here, and then it'll go out there, and I've just been trying to follow it. I forgot how heavy this lens is. Part of the reason for doing this is because I get so close with 700 millimeters much much more and much better than 500 millimeters. I do want to take this out to Han one weekend. One thing I do like about a DSLR and the 
just the viewfinder. It's so easy to find your subject. This one, and maybe it's because of the lens that I'm, I have adapted to it. I'm gonna have to rent the 100 to 500 again to see what that looks like with the R7. I'm impressed, and I, again with the R7, I don't really care for the screen. I don't care so much for the, the the clarity of the EVF. I don't think it's the do all and end all. I know when I get home, I'm going to be impressed by a lot of these photos. At least I hope so, and I'll edit them up. You will, of course, already have seen them. Johnny Pink. All I can say is thank you for letting me share with you guys. I wanted to see. This was really just to see the difference. I've been enjoying my D800, that old beast of a camera, in preparation for the Z9. Prepar preparing me for the Z9. But for a while I'm going to be shooting the R7 and uh, the D800 again. I want to take those two out to Han and compare the two. Is it a comparison? Well, I did the R5, but I didn't do the R7. And I know that a lot of people shoot the R7, so I, for that one I will probably rent the 100 to 500. That way I've got a similar comparison. So Johnny Pink, again, all I can say to you guys is thank you for letting me share with you guys. I am, or I will be doing a video coming up pretty quickly on how I edit the photos. Uh, my, my total process, maybe I'll do that later today. I don't use AI. That's all I can say is I don't. I, I like what Lightroom offers now. And it's easier than just painting and, and masks to sharpen and then it, it's a wonderful thing. You guys have a fantastic day out there. Johnny Pink, that's loud. I'll see ya. Out of one of those, at least one of them's got to be sharp, right? It's a little heavy for me to be hand-holding. I do like a lighter lens.